Hey guys, what is going on? It is Nick from Designs Academy, and today I am going to be showing you guys the basic setup of Photoshop uh, to make pixel art. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you guys as much, you know, step by step how to draw something, but more how to set up your Photoshop that you can make pixel art uh, and do it the right way and not kind of just wing it with like a grid over something. Or I'm going to show you guys how to make it pixel by pixel. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm using Photoshop. CC 2015, uh, 25th anniversary edition, I think. Uh, this should work with basically any version of Photoshop from the last, I don't know, however long, 10 years. So you should be good. Uh, the first thing we're going to be going up to do tonight is click File, New. And I've got a setup right here. We're going to change this to Custom. It'll probably be on default Photoshop. So you're going to want to change inches to pixels. You should do this already for most of your documents anyways, but we're going to change this to 20 by 20 pixels. I've got mine set to 300 dpi, but you could do about 72 is good. And we're going to leave it at those settings. We'll click OK. And we'll see our brush is huge. And we'll zoom in here. Uh, the way I'm zooming in, you'll notice without using the magnifying tool, is holding Alt and then scrolling. So if you didn't know that shortcut, uh, that is it. This is the background layer. Uh, Photoshop always locks your background layer, so if you want to unlock it real quick, we'll just double click it and we'll name that background. Okay. Now we've got our background. I'm going to make this a little bit darker, just adjust the hue. Just a quick way to make it darker. That way you guys can see the grid. Turn it to like a light gray. Now you guys can see this grid. What you're going to want to do to set this grid up is go to File or you're going to want to go to edit find preferences down here guides grids and slices and right here you're going to want to change it to from inches to pixels and then do one every pixel so we're going to one one every pixel and that'll make it so that our guidelines that Photoshop is showing us is going to be on every pixel now if you guys can't see the guidelines you're going to want to go to view show and then you're going to want to make sure you have pixel grid selected and that's going to actually make it accurate to what your pixels are clicking on that's going to be important here in a second uh... the next step that we're going to be doing is we're not going to be using the brush tool uh... it's a big mistake that a lot of people make they'll set their brush tool to hundred hardness and then they'll do this and they don't understand why it doesn't work but as because when you're making pixel art you want to use the pencil tool to keep that kind of crisp edge so to get to the pencil tool, just right click your brush tool and you'll see a little drop down menu to change your tools. And we'll click on the pencil tool. And the pencil tool is actually a pixel. So if we click now, you can see that our brush is one pixel. And it's got those nice crisp edges that you can't get with the brush tool, even if it's at 100% hardness. Settings for your pencil tool, you're going to want to set the size to zero and the hardness to 100%, and that's just going to give you that nice crisp, just one pixel size dot. Now you can see here when I click, sometimes it is off by a pixel or a little grid space. So what you're going to do is view, show, and you're going to want to uncheck grid. And what that's going to do is actually set you up on the actual pixel grid. Uh, and that'll make sure that every time you click it is on the exact square that your cursor is on. So I'm just going to control Z all these. Another step that you're going to need to do is change your eraser to the pencil so that you're erasing every pixel because when you're making pixel art sometimes you want to just erase one little pixel and this is going to allow you to do that. So we're going to right click or we're going to click on the eraser tool and change mode from brush to pencil and then we're going to go over here and change the size to 1 and the hardness to 100% just like we did on the other one and that way when we draw some stuff let's say I want to erase this little cube right here. I can do that and since we're on the background layer it's going to erase the gray too but you guys get the point the last thing that we're going to want to do is edit uh, the kind of the crispness of the lines the default settings in Photoshop you're going to want to change this because if you are using this default setting it won't uh, allow you to change your pixel art and like keep those crisp edges that you want for the pixel art because usually it will dumb down kind of the the edges of lines to make things look nicer but for this case we don't want that so what we're gonna do is go to edit preferences we're gonna go to general this time and right here on this first page inner interpolation 
instead of by cubic automatic we're gonna go to nearest neighbor and that's gonna right there it says preserve hard edges and that's just gonna keep those uh, crisp edges of the lines you are gonna want to change that though if you're doing something else in Photoshop besides uh, pixel art so make sure that you remember to change it if you're going back to something and now your Photoshop is completely set up for pixel art so if I make a new layer here let's say we want to make a little fish so I'll get a nice orange color here and let's we want something like that maybe and let's say that's our pixel art fish maybe we'll give him a little eye and that's our pixel art fish now let's say we're done with the fish and we want to see it without the lines we're just gonna go to view show pixel grid we'll uncheck it and it's gonna get rid of our grid and now our fish is all revealed uh, you can see it's actually moving by pixel too which is helpful uh, because normally you know you need to move things carefully and like hold shift to move it by the same line of pixels but since this is on such a low resolution level that we're actually looking at each individual pixel uh, it makes it very easy to move you know assets around your screen if you wanted to make something else in the scene with the fish so now we're just gonna recheck our view really quick now if you want to save uh, something for instance let's say I'm, I'm done with this fish I want it just like that what you're going to do is uncheck your background layer so that it's on a transparent background with just our fish. We're going to file, save as, and we're going to save it to our desktop as a PNG. And what that's going to do is make sure that your background is transparent. So you can see on my desktop, I'll zoom in a little bit right now, there's nothing behind the fish and that's because technically there is no pixels behind the fish. So you'll notice that right here, I can't really zoom in because there's such small pixels, but there's nothing behind the fish uh, a lot of times it'll default that is white and it'll show white because there's nothing behind it but if you save it as a PNG with the uh, background layer unchecked so it's transparent behind you'll get that transparency when you save your picture that is about it for setting up your Photoshop guys uh, make sure you like the video and if you would like me to make another tutorial next week on maybe making a couple things uh, in pixel art like actual pixel art pieces then you guys can comment that down below Be more than happy to do that. I'm going to make something really quick here, just kind of mess around with the pixel art and leave you guys with a little bit of a speed art at the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's been Nick from Designs Academy. Peace. Daydreamer I want them so bad to become reality I'm a daydreamer